By putting these animals back, it in theory will make the Arctic colder, slow down the melting of the permafrost, which will in turn trap the carbon for longer in the ground. Throughout Earth's history, our planet has been home to many fascinating and often terrifying creatures. While many of today's animals may appear formidable, there were once even more massive, fiercer, and profoundly intimidating beasts that have long since disappeared from our world. From colossal carnivorous whales that made modern-day sharks seem small to child-eating eagles, get ready to explore 26 deadly animals you'll be glad are no longer around. Number 26. Liviatin. You might already be aware, but the very name of this creature, Liviatin, conjures images of mythical sea leviathans. Existing approximately 9 million years ago, Liviatin was a species of predatory sperm whale that stretched a colossal 55 feet in length, making it a dominating force in the waters of South America. But what truly sets Liviatin apart from the rest is its formidable jaw, adorned with over 40 teeth, each measuring an astonishing one foot and two inches in length. And it's not just their sheer size that's spine-tingling. These teeth are the largest of any creature that has ever graced our planet. Despite their abundance of teeth, Liviatan was a master hunter with a unique approach. Their preferred method of hunting was nothing short of extraordinary. They used their foreheads. Imagine them stealthily approaching their unsuspecting prey from below, delivering a devastating blow akin to a battering ram, effectively paralyzing their victims. But that distinctive forehead might have held another secret, a spermaceti organ akin to modern sperm whales. If this organ served the same purpose, Liviatan would have used it to emit high-frequency sounds, acoustically stunning their prey into submission. It's a captivating strategy, but the final chapter in the Liviatan's tale was written during a frigid episode at the close of the Miocene era, leading to a decline in their food supply and, ultimately, their extinction. Number 25. Arctotherium angustidens. The grizzly bear is a creature that can strike fear into most people's hearts. But when discussing Arctotherium angustidens, better known as the giant short-faced bear, even fully grown grizzlies seem as innocent as cubs. This magnificent beast originated in South America around two and a half million years ago. In the realm of gigantic bears, Arctotherium angustidens reign supreme, with an astonishing average weight of approximately two tons. To put it into perspective, the largest terrestrial carnivore we have today, the polar bear, weighs less than half as much as these prehistoric titans. But these bears weren't just heavy. They were towering as well, standing at an impressive 14 feet, which is taller than a one-story building. If you think their size will slow them down, think again. Their close relatives, the Arctodus simus, could reach a terrifying top speed of 40 miles per hour. So it's safe to assume these colossal creatures weren't lumbering giants, but fast and formidable predators. Their bone-chewing habits, revealed by fossilized teeth, suggest that they weren't picky eaters and probably saw humans as just a tasty appetizer. However, these incredible bears mysteriously vanished around half a million years ago, perhaps due to rising competition from other carnivores like jaguars, cougars, and dire wolves. Or maybe an even more giant bear is still out there waiting to be discovered. Number 24. Megalodon. The Megalodon, a magnificent shark species, graced the Earth's oceans approximately 18 million years ago, before its extinction around 2.6 million years ago. This giant shark, measuring a staggering 59 feet or 18 meters in length, was a dominant predator with few rivals in the ancient seas. Its primary prey consisted of large marine animals, such as whales, dolphins, and sea turtles, and it shared a close relationship with the modern-day white shark. The distinctive size and shape of megalodon fossil teeth have made them a common find in the field of paleontology. Despite their extinction, some intriguing mysteries linger about megalodon's timeline. Speculations arise from certain large megalodon teeth, suggesting the possibility of their survival until approximately 12,000 years ago, when humans first appeared. Nevertheless, the consensus among experts is that the megalodon is indeed extinct. Though the idea persists in popular culture, no scientific basis supports the claim that these enormous sharks still roam our oceans. While various YouTube videos purport to offer proof of their existence, these assertions lack scientific verification. 
no credible evidence has emerged to substantiate their ongoing presence, making it highly improbable that the Megalodon persists today. If such a colossal creature were still in existence, its presence would undoubtedly have been documented by now. Number 23. Rampharynchus The discovery of the Rampharynchus is a fascinating journey into the ancient past. This flying reptile, which once graced the skies of Europe and Africa, existed between 154 million years ago and 137 million years ago. Despite being much smaller than the massive Quetzalcoatlus, these creatures were really impressive, with a wingspan of approximately 6 feet and a body length of a mere 20 inches. However, their true awe-inspiring feature lay in their needle-like fangs, which may have appeared battered, but were incredibly effective. These fearsome fangs played a crucial role in helping these ravenous reptiles catch fish. Their hunting technique involved skimming just above the water's surface, swiftly lowering their spiky bills and impaling slippery fish with precision. Once caught, their prey was consumed in a single bite. It's a remarkable glimpse into an ancient predator's life, and while Rampharynchus may have long vanished from our world, their story still captures our imagination. Just remember, if they ever manage to survive extinction, it's probably best not to try hand-feeding them. Number 22. Titanoboa. The Titanoboa was among the most astonishing and spine-tingling creatures ever to grace our planet. This colossal and now extinct serpent, a member of the giant snake family, once roamed the lush landscapes of what is now modern-day Colombia around 58 to 60 million years ago. These serpents were behemoths, with scales that stretched up to almost 43 feet or 13 meters in length, and a remarkable weight of up to 2,500 pounds or 1,135 kilograms. It wasn't until 2009 that the fossils of this magnificent snake were unearthed, hidden within the depths of a Korean coal mine in La Guajira, Colombia. What's truly fascinating is that the Titanoboa's remarkable size can be attributed to the scorching climate of its era. It's a testament to environmental conditions' profound impact on a species. Feeding on a diet consisting mainly of giant turtles, fish, crocodiles, and reptilian birds, the Titanoboa ruled its ecosystem with unparalleled supremacy. Notably, it's a little-known fact that this enormous snake might have been an adept tree climber. Evidence from related snakes suggests their ability to scale trees and seek shelter in their branches. Furthermore, researchers have made remarkable discoveries regarding the Titanoboa's oxygen consumption. Owing to its colossal size, this serpent demanded an extensive supply of oxygen to fuel its massive muscles. Number 21. Tyrannosaurus rex. The Tyrannosaurus rex, often hailed as the king of the dinosaurs, continues to captivate people's imaginations worldwide. What sets this ancient giant apart? To begin with, the fossils of the T-Rex, one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs ever to roam the Earth, have been unearthed in the western regions of North America. But there's more to this majestic creature. The T-Rex exhibited astonishing speed thanks to its robust and towering hind limbs. Despite its seemingly feeble forelimbs, they possessed unexpected strength, enabling the T-Rex to grasp and immobilize its prey while delivering a lethal bite. Furthermore, the T-Rex possessed unparalleled biting power and boasted remarkable sensory abilities, including acute hearing and vision. Scientists estimate it wielded the most formidable bite force of any land-dwelling creature in history. Not only was the T-Rex one of the last dinosaurs to inhabit our planet, but it was also among the most fearsome. Recent discoveries of numerous T-Rex skeletons have expanded our knowledge of this remarkable species, allowing scientists to reconstruct its appearance and behavior. Intriguingly, some scientists speculate that the T-Rex may have sported a feathered coat, possibly serving as protection against diseases and parasites. Although direct evidence of feathers on T-Rex fossils is lacking, related theropod dinosaurs have provided such evidence. Further research is needed to answer this question definitively, but if proven, it could revolutionize our understanding of this extinct giant and its role in the evolution of birds. Number 20. Spinosaurus. Ever wondered what would result from crossing a crocodile with a T-Rex? The answer might be the stuff of nightmares, and its name would be the Spinosaurus. This colossal creature, 
reaching up to 59 feet in length and weighing a monstrous 22 tons, is the largest known carnivorous dinosaur to have ever roamed our planet. Interestingly, it didn't have a particular appetite for terrestrial prey. Hailing from North Africa, Spinosaurus was an aquatic predator, relishing a fish diet, including massive coelacanths, sawfish, and lungfish. Sporting a long, crocodile-like snout armed with formidable six-inch long conical teeth, Spinosaurus was perfectly adapted for capturing slippery aquatic prey. The function of its sail-like vertebral spines remains a mystery, although it's been suggested they could have provided stability in the water, akin to a fish's dorsal fin. Sadly, a drying climate resulting from global warming around 90 million years ago led to the demise of North African marshlands, leaving Spinosaurus unable to adapt to new dietary options. Swimmers today might not be too distraught about the absence of these aquatic giants. Number 19. Host's Eagle The colossal skeletal remains of Host's Eagle provide a fascinating glimpse into a time when remarkable creatures once shared the world with humans, or more precisely, had some rather deadly encounters. Discovered in New Zealand's South Island, this remarkable creature boasted a wingspan of up to 10 feet, officially making it the largest eagle ever gracing our planet. Standing roughly half the height of an average person and weighing about 40 pounds more than a bald eagle, these eagles were designed for dominance. Their primary prey was the moa, an enormous flightless bird weighing 15 times as much as its predator. Host's eagles pursued their prey with deadly precision using talons that resembled sharp knives to tackle their quarry from behind and crush their skulls, as indicated by moa bone remains. But legend suggests a more unsettling truth. Accounts from the native Maori people of New Zealand recount large eagles swooping down and snatching children. However, their reign ended in the 16th century, likely due to human overhunting of the moa, resulting in the extinction of the mighty host's eagle. Finally, the Maori children could rest easily. Number 18, Argavantis. In keeping with the bird theme, imagine a prehistoric vulture with a staggering 20-foot wingspan standing as tall as a human and making its living by preying on large livestock. While it's true that today's birds are descendants of dinosaurs, this ancient avian exuded a distinctive pterodactyl aura. The Argavantes reigned as the largest flying animal ever to grace the skies, dwarfing the albatross and the North American condor, which are currently the largest airborne species. With a swift flight speed of 10 meters per second, they would have devoured their prey whole, mid-flight, be it squid or fish. Thankfully, they're no longer with us. Although the exact reason for their extinction remains a mystery, we can count our blessings. Number 17. Helicoprion. If you've ever pondered the notion of sharks with buzzsaw-like mouths, you're in for an intriguing journey. In the world of prehistoric fish, the enigmatic Helicoprion left scientists baffled for centuries due to scant fossil evidence. The full extent of its nightmarish appearance was revealed only by piecing together various jaw fragments. What's truly chilling is how this fish generated its ever-growing array of teeth, spiraling into a macabre spectacle. Fortunately, these haunting creatures disappeared into the annals of history about 225 million years ago, and most would agree that it was a welcome farewell. Number 16. Therizinosaurus. Therizinosaurus, a dinosaur from approximately 70 million years ago in Asia, was certainly a sight to behold. Standing at a gangly height of 16 feet, its most striking feature was its incredibly long claws, measuring over one and a half feet in length. These claws, the longest ever found on any creature, served the Therizinosaurus well in its role as an herbivore. They used their remarkable appendages to grasp vegetation, resembling prehistoric Edward Scissorhands. While they may have had an intimidating appearance, their bipedal stance and dietary preferences indicate they were the gentle giants of their time. Unfortunately, they, like many others, succumbed to the KT global extinction event. However, their legacy lives on through their extraordinary claws. Number 15. Joseph Ortigesia Monesi While New York City is notorious for its sizable urban rats, these modern rodents are dwarfed by their prehistoric counterparts. Enter the Joseph Ortigesia Monesi, 
a South American giant that existed between four and two million years ago. These colossal creatures were likely the most giant rodents ever to roam the planet, reaching lengths of up to 10 feet and weighing as much as 2,200 pounds. To put this into perspective, that's equivalent to the weight of 12 adult humans. However, the true intrigue lies beyond their immense size. The Josefo Artigasia Monesi boasted terrifying incisors measuring almost a foot in length. Using computer modeling, scientists estimated their bite force to be a staggering 3,600 psi, comparable to saltwater crocodiles. Surprisingly, these mega rats were not carnivorous. They probably used their massive incisors for self-defense, gnawing through wood and nuts and digging for sustenance. Anyone foolish enough to challenge them would have met a swift and grisly fate within those formidable jaws. Suddenly, New York City's rat problem doesn't seem so bad. Number 14. Hallucigenia Ever wondered what it'd be like if worms had legs? Well, brace yourself, as this nightmarish notion isn't for the faint of heart. Picture tentacles instead of conventional legs, some may be sporting mouths. These creatures flaunt long, flexible tentacles on one side and pairs of rigid spines on the other. It's as if they aimed to be the ultimate embodiment of horror. They'd fit perfectly into a dolly painting. And oddly, despite their dissimilarity to ringworms, can you fathom how much more dreadful it'd be if they did resemble them? Number 13. Mega Piranha Walking on ancient ground might have been unsettling, but swimming in the rivers of South America eight to 10 million years ago during the late Miocene would have been truly terrifying. It was an era where you might have encountered the infamous Mega Piranha, a predatory fish that lived up to its name and more. These aquatic predators were giants, doubling the size of contemporary piranhas, stretching over two feet in length and weighing a daunting 22 pounds. But their terror didn't stop at their size. Scientists believe that the mega piranha could unleash a bone-crushing bite with a force of up to 1,000 pounds, equivalent to that of a small great white shark. In comparison, regular piranhas suddenly seem far less intimidating. Number 12. Megatherium Americanum With their diminutive and adorable presence, sloths may not hint at their prehistoric ancestor, the awe-inspiring Megatherium Americanum, these colossal sloths, native to South America between 400,000 and 8,000 years ago, were nothing short of massive. Imagine an animal as large as an elephant, standing a towering 12 feet tall and weighing an astonishing four tons. What sets them apart is their surprising lack of hair, which leaves them vulnerable to sweating. The Megatherium's defining feature was its seven-inch claws, which added to their formidable nature. These creatures are so unique that they have a way of capturing the imagination. Despite their menacing appearance, researchers believe that megatheriums were not carnivores. Instead, they likely used their immense claws to reach for towering vegetation. Although their diet doesn't definitively include meat, there's a possibility that they occasionally scavenged carcasses. More extreme theories suggest that megatherium might have actively pursued smaller herbivores, overturning them and using their claws for slicing. Surprisingly, evidence has emerged that suggests humans once hunted these colossal creatures. Number 11. Thylacoleo carnifex Between 2 million and 46,000 years ago, the Australian outback was ruled by an intriguing predator, the Thylacoleo carnifex. This unique creature was like a blend between a wombat and a lion, an unusual but powerful combination. Fossil records suggest that they grew to approximately 5 feet in length, stood at 2.5 feet in height, and weighed around 220 pounds, making them a bit stockier but comparable in weight to today's jaguars. What set the Thylacoleo carnifex apart from its modern feline counterparts was its unconventional approach to hunting. Instead of sharp canine teeth, these marsupials sported two sets of enormous incisors resembling giant scissors designed to puncture and pierce their prey's flesh with astonishing force. Their jaw muscles were massive, giving each tooth in their mouth the power of a deadly weapon. Their molars were equipped to crush a victim's windpipe and sever the spinal cord, while their incisors were specialized for piercing flesh. Their enormous, retractable thumb claws made these marsupial lions truly formidable, which they used to dismember their prey expertly. 
Their unique hunting technique allowed them to take down large animals up to 15 times faster than an African lion. However, despite their fierce prowess, the Thylacolio carnifex couldn't escape the clutches of extinction. Climate change gradually dried out their habitat, diminishing the available food supply and eventually leading to their demise. Number 10. Megalonia Around two and a half million years ago, the Australian plains were home to some true monsters. Still, none could match the sheer terror induced by Megalania, a colossal monitor lizard. These ancient predators, reminiscent of giant Komodo dragons, outgrew their Komodo ancestors, reaching staggering lengths of up to 23 feet. The belief that Megalania possessed venomous glands secreting hemotoxin within their jaws makes them even more formidable, akin to the modern Komodo dragons. When they attacked, Megalania's curved, razor-sharp teeth would pierce their prey's skin, injecting venom that doubled as an anticoagulant, preventing blood from clotting. This caused a rapid drop in the prey's blood pressure, leading to systemic shock and, inevitably, death. So what sealed the fate of this massive and lethal lizard? Recent research by the University of Queensland has dated a Megalania bone to be around 50,000 years old, coinciding with the arrival of humans in Australia. While it's unclear whether humans overhunted these gigantic reptiles or simply killed them in self-defense, one thing is certain. Australia, a land where nearly everything seems out to get you, might have been even more dangerous back then. Number 9. Pentacopterus decorahensis Imagine a five-foot scorpion, Pentacopterus decorahensis, discovered in all its glory by scientists in 2015. This ancient creature, nearly a million years old, once roamed Iowa's waters. Today's ticks, spiders, and lobsters eventually replaced them, suggesting their extinction coincided with Iowa's transformation from a seafloor to its current state. Fossils and illustrations are all we have, with a replica featured in National Geographic's Strange Truth program. While seeing is often believing, some things are better left unimagined. Number 8. Purosaurus Crocs may be frightening enough on their own, but the Purosaurus dwarfs them in size. This rabid river monster once measured a staggering 35 feet long, around a school bus's length. Even if it wasn't the same height as one, a saltwater crocodile was nonetheless twice as long as it was. It needed to eat, and it needed to eat a lot. Around 90 pounds of food were consumed daily by Purosaurus, 20 times more than the modern American alligator needed. And the straightforward response to the question, what did Purosaurus eat exactly, is anything. The planet was their banquet, with everything from huge ground sloths to car-sized stupendomies turtles. Fortunately for them, their strong bite contributed to their ravenous appetite. The Purosaurus had a bite 20 times more powerful than a great white shark's, equal to 11.5 tons of pressure according to paleontologists' calculations. Geez, and Jaws seemed scary. Number 7. Titanochorus gains. The discovery of this species, which has been around for 500 million years, was unfathomable at the time due to its enormous half-meter length. Even the majority of the water creatures at the time, which were all barely larger than a pinky finger, were considered dwarfs by the Titanochorus. This enormous creature, which had a tooth-lined mouth, spiny claws, and a body with flaps for better swimming is still one of the largest creatures from the Cambrian period ever discovered. Number 6. Smilodon The saber-toothed tiger, or Smilodon, stands as one of the most iconic predators of prehistoric times. Although often referred to as a tiger, it was, in fact, a distinct species that roamed the North and South American landscapes, eventually going extinct between two and a half million and twelve thousand years ago. Imagine a creature towering at about 7 feet, or 2.2 meters, weighing 350 to 615 pounds, or 160 to 280 kilograms, armed with gigantic teeth that could grow up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Smilodon was an apex predator with unmatched hunting precision that could stealthily ambush its prey. What sets it apart from its solitary feline relatives is the intriguing possibility that Smilodon hunted in packs, a social strategy that could have contributed to its fearsome reputation. Its menu included a variety of prey, from mastodons and extinct elephants to deer, horses, and bison. 
What's surprising is that Smilodon's trademark fangs were in fact more fragile compared to modern cats. Their excessive length and slender structure made them prone to breaking during hunts. Yet despite this vulnerability, the Smilodon earned its place as one of the most feared predators of its era, and its deadly teeth played a pivotal role in maintaining its status. Now, let's dive into our subscribers' pick of the day. We've explored some bizarre prehistoric creatures, but this one takes the cake, the Platybelodon. These colossal herbivores, distant relatives of today's elephants, roamed the earth between 20 million and 8 million years ago. Just picture it, a massive creature with a trunk and, wait for it, a spork-like jaw that jutted out. Yeah, you heard that right, a spork. Modern elephants might look innocent, but are responsible for up to 500 human fatalities annually without fancy utensils. Can you imagine what these platybelodons could do with their peculiar cutlery appendage? The burning question is, why have a spork attached to your mouth? But hey, it looks like this one just took down an elephant. Any guesses on the cause? There seems to be a human hunter approaching. Could it be a case of humans hunting them, or maybe they were once our exotic pets? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's cook up some wild ideas together. Number 5. Camaroceras Meet the Camaroceras, a prehistoric sea monster that would have made your prehistoric beach day a nightmare. Unlike the familiar octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish, this ancient cephalopod was a true giant prowling the seas some 470 million years ago during the Ordovician period. What sets this creature apart is its colossal 36-foot-long shell, a massive shield for its core body. But how did this aquatic carnivore go about its hunting business? Despite its enormity, the Camaroceras likely adopted a patient approach, lying in wait horizontally for unsuspecting prey. Once a potential meal ventured too close, it struck incredibly quickly, drawing it into its giant maw using three-foot-long tentacles. Once captured, unfortunate victim, such as trilobites and sea scorpions, faced a gruesome fate. The Camaroceras utilized their sturdy, keratinous beaks to shatter their protective exoskeletons and feast on their delicate insides. Thankfully, the late Ordovician mass extinction event, which claimed over 85% of marine species, brought the Camarocera's reign to an end around 443 million years ago. Number 4. Quetzalcoatlus. Travel back about 70 million years, and you'd face to face with the colossal Quetzalcoatlus, a flying reptile that would make even your worst nightmares pale in comparison. When you first look at these winged behemoths, you might wish they existed even further back in time. The idea of a 16-foot-tall reptile resembling a stork capable of hunting is nothing short of horrifying. With their impressive 36-foot wingspan, Quetzalcoatlus was the largest flying creature ever to grace our planet. To put it in perspective, the largest wingspan ever recorded, that of a wandering albatross, reaches 12 feet. You can easily envision these massive, enigmatic creatures gracefully skimming the waters off North America's coast hunting for their next aquatic feast. Curiously, the remains of Quetzalcoatlus were found on land 250 miles from the nearest shoreline, with no significant evidence of nearby rivers or lakes during their time in the Cretaceous period. It's believed these avian giants predominantly preyed on land-dwelling creatures. Their elongated, chopstick-like jaws were ideally suited for spotting smaller dinosaurs, snatching them up and devouring them whole. In comparison, the raptor birds of our modern era seem much less menacing. Fortunately, these magnificent creatures met their demise, alongside the Therizinosaurus, in a global extinction event 66 million years ago. Number 3. Mosasaurus One of the most recent and magnificent carnivorous reptiles to have disappeared from our planet is the Mosasaurus. This ocean-dwelling species existed about 66 million years ago, and its fossilized origins were discovered along the Meuse River in the Netherlands, giving it the name Mosasaurus. A formidable predator, the Mosasaurus had a varied diet, including fish, large sea turtles, other Mosasaurus, and even birds. Its astonishingly wide, powerful jaw truly sets it apart, enabling it to devour virtually anything that crosses its path. But the Mosasaurus is more than just a fascinating prehistoric creature. It played a pivotal role in developing paleontology. 
In 1794, the first Mosasaurus fossils were unearthed in St. Peter's Mountain, Maastricht. These discoveries mark the earliest evidence of extinct animal remains, propelling our understanding of life's evolution on Earth. Furthermore, the legend of sea monsters, prevalent in 18th century tales, is believed to draw inspiration from the awe-inspiring Mosasaurus. These stories reflect an era when the extinction of such creatures was not yet recognized, reinforcing the Mosasaurus' status as living proof of these legendary sea monsters. Number 2. Deodon In today's world, pigs are often seen as docile farm animals, but the story was quite different in the prehistoric era. Meet the dreadful pig, scientifically known as Deodon, which terrorized North America 23 million years ago. These formidable creatures stretched an impressive 10 feet in length, stood about 6 feet tall at the shoulders, and tipped the scales at a hefty 1,650 pounds, boasting a robust, rhino-like physique. However, Deodon weren't herbivores, they were fearsome predators. Sporting forward-facing eye sockets for tracking prey, they hunted by chasing down their targets and delivering bone-crushing blows. It was like a high-speed pursuit in the animal kingdom. Adding to their menacing image, Deodon sported massive 10-inch fangs designed for tearing flesh apart. Thankfully, the reign of these prehistoric pig predators ended approximately 20 million years ago. The culprit? Soaring temperatures led to the decline of this vegetation and prey species. We can consider ourselves fortunate that today's pigs don't view us as a potential meal. Number 1. Gigantopithecus blackie. Bigfoot or at least something resembling it, did indeed exist, though not quite in the way we might imagine. Picture this. Around two million years ago, in the dense forests of southern China, roamed Gigantopithecus blackie, an extinct species of monkey that could easily be the inspiration for the Bigfoot legends. While we have only found tooth and jawbone fragments, scientists estimate these colossal creatures stood at a towering 10 feet and weighed up to a staggering 1,200 pounds, making them twice as tall and almost three times heavier than silverback gorillas. Bamboo was likely a staple in their diet, considering their habitat in southern China. Now, when it comes to their extinction, the answer is rather simple, given their massive size. Gigantopithecus required copious amounts of food to sustain themselves. However, Around 100,000 years ago, as the climate shifted, their forest home transformed into savanna-like terrain, severely restricting their food supply. While we can't say for sure, who knows? Maybe a few of them survived to this day, and encountering one would surely answer any lingering questions about the mysteries of Bigfoot. Which of these prehistoric beasts would you choose to bring back from the past? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let your imagination roam through the realms of prehistory. Thank you for watching.